Hey there, everyone. The topic of the week is networking. No, not computer networking. Networking to build your human network. Networking to build your connections, to build a a sense of just really having more trust, having more... um, of a sense of, uh, I know more people and therefore there's more opportunities. That's what we're talking about. We're about, we're talking about really creating connections, authentic connections, not the fake kind, authentic connections with as many people as you possibly can so that you both can, in, in all of the people that you meet and, and connect with, <laughs> meet our need. We all have a human need for connection for sure, right? Like, and for a lot of people, that's enough, right? But you got a career to upgrade. You have a career to transform. So also what this is going to mean in terms of that mission is it's going to create so many more opportunities for you by building your network, by connecting with more people. And so there is a saying that's thrown around sometimes that's called, it's not what they say, some people say, I'm not sure who said this to start with, but some people say, it's not what you know, it's who you know. You know, I'm not sure if I fully agree with that because what it kind of applies is that it doesn't matter. Like you don't have to have the expertise. Like you don't have to build your excellence as a leader. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's really just know a lot of people and you'll get there. I say it's both, right? It just goes right in line. It's it's about what you know and it's about who you know, which just goes right, right in line with what we talk about all the time here at the People Stack, which is, what is the super secret formula to upgrading your career and earning a promotion and finally getting recognition and commanding a premium salary of at least 200K a year and achieving career transformation as a technical manager? There's two parts to it. Number one, you build your excellence as a leader. You upgrade your leadership skills and you do it and it's an ongoing thing, it never ends. It never ends. So that's the what you know. That's step one. Step two is evangelize that excellence. Share with others your wins. Sounds like Yoda there, right? Share with others your wins, you will. (laughs) Share your wins with others. Share your team's wins with others. That's evangelizing your excellence. And that's part of networking. Because if you don't have a network and people to evangelize to, then you can't evangelize and then you're just, you know, you're practicing in front of your stuffed animals all the time, which I absolutely advocate for, you know, prep, right? But your stuffed animals can't get you a promotion. So, and I apologize, we're, we're, playing, we're playing with a different um, video and audio for this. I think we got the audio quality kind of dialed in. With the video, I have a new camera and every time I move, if you're listening to this, you have no, you have no idea what I'm talking about. If you're just listening to it on the podcast, <laughs> but on the, if you're watching the video, either on YouTube or in the Facebook group, you'll see that like when I move, it tries to like, it has this autofocus thing. It's a really cool camera. Um, I think it's going to work, work out. We just got to, we got to calibrate it a little bit more. So I apologize. I won't move. I will say absolutely stone still not possible. Okay, so let's talk about networking and what that really means. And especially what I want to talk about today is the network that you didn't even know that you had. So the reason I started to touch on some of the areas why really building connections with people, authentic connections with people, that's what I, that's what I term networking. Networking is kind of like a I don't know what kind of word is it. It's 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 very like it's not, it sounds like not loving. It sounds like it's something that you do. Like I'm gonna go get a network, right? <laughs> like it's like I don't want to do. Like I'm gonna go to the doctor's office and I'm gonna go get a network. You know, like I'm gonna go to the doctor's office and you know I need to or I need to go get 
you know, I need to get a colonoscopy, right? You know what I mean? Like, it's something that I need to do, but it's not fun, but I know it's necessary. That's what network sounds like to me, just the sound of it, right? But like the idea, the idea of it, it's about creating authentic connections with as many people that you possibly can. That's what we're talking about. And if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to upgrade your career. You're not gonna earn that promotion. You're not gonna land that job. You're not, because you're not gonna get recognized for all of the things that you're doing um, without, the, that, without a network and without that authentic trust. That's, that's part of networking as well, where people kind of miss out on. It's like some people think that networking is going to a, uh, like a, a conference or a convention or something like that and gathering business cards or like the modern day equivalent, which would be, oh, LinkedIn connection. Oh, I got another LinkedIn connection. Oh, cool. Like, and you just sort of gather them up or virtually gather them up. And that's it. Like that could be part of networking, but there's more to it than that. Like if you just meet someone at a conference and you talk for five minutes and then you connect on LinkedIn and then do nothing else. Is that really an authentic trust kind of connection? No, it's somebody you met and now you're connected on LinkedIn. And that's usually what happens, by the way. It's because people get caught in the game of collecting virtual business cards without actually realizing and remembering that there's more to it than that. It's actually not about the number of people in your network. It's about the quality of the relationships that you have with the people who are in your network already. So that's a huge piece of it, um, is remembering that it's not just about business card collection or virtual business card collection, and that it's necessary to do. Not. And to really look at it in a way, like not uh, like necessary, like a colonoscopy is necessary, right? Can you tell I had one recently? <laughs> yeah, I'm young for it. I know it runs in the family, but yeah. It's, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I have to network, all right? But really what would be better would be to, to approach it like this is fun. Like to really appreciate it for what it is, which is, like having a chance to learn and grow and and really just get to talk with someone and meet new people that's it's just, that's awesome right and hey you get to help each other out too that's really what's at the heart of networking and in creating these authentic connections and so it's definitely about remembering it's more to it than simply how many people are in your LinkedIn network. It's about the quality of those connections. But it's also about remembering that the best way to go about networking is to do it intentionally, not by accident. And I want to thank one of my clients for this sort of paradigm shift, you know, networking on purpose versus networking on uh, by accident. Um, he didn't give me permission to share his name, so I won't. Um, but this is a client from Gas. It was actually a couple of years ago now. Um, and we we were talking and, and I was asking him about his networking efforts. And he's like, yeah, you know what, Jen, I'm really not. It's like, I'm just kind of doing it by accident. Oh, okay. And now every time when I talk with someone who's on the job market and helping a client who's on the job market, when I bring up, you're really networking by accident, aren't you? It really strikes a chord. It's like, yep, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Just kind of, maybe someone will come up to me and talk with me. Maybe a recruiter will, will contact me on LinkedIn. You know, maybe if something just, if, if an event happens to pop into my, my, inbox or I find out about it, I might go. Um, maybe I'll have coffee with that friend who might be able to, you know, get me a job or, or connect me with other people to, to find 
other leads or other leads to interviews. Maybe I'll do that. That's that's kind of by accident, right? It's it's you're not intentionally proactively going out there and searching and creating a network of people that you can trust and rely upon and goes the other way around too. They trust and rely upon you as well. So really making sure that you're doing this purposefully. And a way to kind of start to get there is to remember you already have a network. There is a network. There's a network that you didn't even realize you had, that you didn't even think you had. There are tons of people in your life right now who would love, who, who would be honored to help you in your career endeavors. But you haven't asked them yet. You haven't let them know that you would like some help. Whether it's, you know, you're on the job market and maybe you're looking for job openings or you just, you want to get a sense of the market, you want to get a sense of what's going on, or maybe you're still trying to figure out like what is next for you in your career. Like you're still working on getting that clarity of what, like, what's the next step? Like, do I want to, like for some people it's, do I want to stay in tech or not? For some people it's, I definitely want to stay in tech, but like what's, what's kind of next? Do I want to stay on the individual contributor path or do I want to move into, you know, into management and people management? If you're in people management, do I want to stay in people management or go back to being an IC? Or like, or any other, you know, number of decisions. Like I've been working for Big Pharma all of my, my, my career. Do I want to stay working for Big Pharma or maybe I want to move to a different industry? Um, or like for Rob, for, for my husband, right? I've been working for big box retailers. You know, I, I've been working in e com for all of my career. Do I want to move to a, to a different industry? Cause I'm kind of sick of e com, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm not sure those of you who are in e-com are like, oh God, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. but you know what? Some people love it. Right. And so, but I'm not sure where I want to move to, right? There's people out there who you can have conversations with, who you can have coffee with. There are events that you can go to meetups on meetup.com that you can go meetup.com. Sure. It's got a lot. It sounds like it's go to meetup.com. Like what is this? Thank you. Thank Whatever. There's, <laughs> there are meetups that you can go to that um where where people can can help you get that clarity or maybe you're looking for a promotion you know an internal promotion and you're only looking at sort of internally at work who might be able to help you with that and for sure it's the people at work internally who are going to be directly more be able to help you with that um definitely your boss the senior leaders anyone who has a say in whether or not you deserve whether or not you're ready for that promotion. Um, and there's lots of people at work right now who you haven't told yet, your boss may be one of them, that you're looking for a promotion, right? So it's still networking. So a lot of people, it's another thing too, like a, a lot of people think that networking is just for people who are on the job market and are looking for a job. Again, you gotta do this intentionally, folks, and not just by accident. It's not just something that you do when you're on the job market. It's like, it's part of who we are as humans. We wanna connect, right? So do this no matter where you are in your career. Or maybe you're just listening to this because you like listening to this. If so, thanks. Awesome. And you're not necessarily wanting to upgrade your career right now. But like even then, like if you're even if you're happy where you are and there's not you're, you're not ready for transformation yet or you're good where you are, still network and do it on purpose. Talk with people. Learn from people. Grow from the distinctions that you will get from talking to a diverse set of people. So there is a network that you already have that you didn't even realize that you have, both in real life, both IRL and online as well. When's the last time that you reached out, some, uh, reached out to somebody on LinkedIn that maybe you haven't talked to in the last couple of years, but you, wanna, but you know you live in the same town, you live in the same city, and you'd love to have coffee? Or... You know, for me, it's usually more of like a hot chocolate and a donut, but you know, I call it coffee anyway. I'm not a coffee drinker. Only when I go to Italy. It's a really strange thing. It's like when in Rome. Um, but there, there is a network out there of people, right? And I know a lot of you may be on Facebook, may not be on Facebook or whatever 
whatever social networks, um, the online networks that you're, you're a part of, there are people out there who can help you. There is a network that you don't have. Find it. Like realize that they're there, right? So when I say find it, it's really just, oh, right, they're right there. <laughs> they're right there and they're ready to help me. So that's really what it's all about. But here's the thing. If you're not, if you don't know how to network, if you're like, yeah, I, I understand this intellectually, that it's tapping into my network, it's building these connections, but I'm not sure how and I'm hesitating doing it, then it's time to book a call with us, thepeoplestack.com slash book. Because we can help you get super clear on either what's been holding you back, like why you've been procrastinating on this, why like you know that this is something that, that needs to happen, but yet you're not doing it. Or maybe you need to dial in the strategy a little bit. Maybe you've been doing everything that you can right? You know, and kudos to you on the effort, but yet like, it's still not quite working the way that you want it to. Like maybe you're on the job market and you're networking your butt off, or at least that's what it feels like, but you're not getting interviews. That's a great way to know whether your networking is working, by the way, if you're on the job market, if you're, if you're networking, networking, or at least trying to, but not getting enough interviews for the jobs that you want, then it's not working and something needs to change. So we can help you make those strategic shifts as well. Um, or if you're looking to get a promotion and you're like, gosh, I don't even sure how to apply this whole concept of networking to getting a promotion. I know that it's probably going to mean more conversations and coffee, but like, I don't get it. Please explain more. And so the reality is it's going to vary based on your situation. It's going to vary based on what you've tried and what's worked and what hasn't worked and exactly what your goals are. So if you want to get clear on all of that, go ahead and book a call with us and do that today. There's no reason to delay. Hey, that rhymes. Do it today. No reason to delay. I know I'm not the first person to come up with that, but go ahead and book a call. ThePeopleStack.com slash book. We'll talk about what's going on in your career and you're going to, it is our solemn promise that you are going to leave this call with so much clarity and so much value. It's going to be the most transformative call that you've ever had about your career. Thepeoplestack.com slash book. So the message of the day folks is network, do it on purpose and not by accident. And remember there is a network that you have already that you've probably forgotten about. So get out there have some coffees, meet some people, make some authentic, genuine connections where you are going to support each other's growth. So that is it for the day. Talk to you again really, really soon.